we're talking about the psychological effect of poorly designed buildings. Now, poorly designed buildings, poorly designed homes that ignore building codes can have a significant psychological impact on those who live in them. A home is not just a physical structure, but it's also a place where individuals and families can feel safe, secure, and comfortable. When a home is designed and constructed in a manner that disregards building codes, it can result in a range of negative psychological effects. First of all, living in a poorly designed home can lead to feelings of anxiety and stress. When building codes are ignored, the safety of the structure is called into question. This can lead to concerns about the stability and safety of the home, especially during natural disasters such as earthquakes like we just had or severe weather. The fear of the home collapsing or being damaged in such scenarios can lead to constant anxiety and stress for those living in it. Additionally, poorly designed homes often suffer from a lack of basic amenities such as proper ventilation, lighting and insulation. This can lead to issues such as mold, poor air quality and extreme temperatures which can have a negative impact on the health of those living in the home. Poor air quality can lead to respiratory problems, while extreme temperatures can cause discomfort and fatigue. This can result in a decline in physical health, which can further exacerbate psychological stress and anxiety. Furthermore, poorly designed homes often lack adequate space which leads to cramped and cluttered living conditions. And this can lead to feelings of confinement and a lack of privacy, as individuals are constantly in close proximity to one another. This can create tension and conflict within the household and can have a negative impact on personal relationships. A lack of space can also limit the ability to engage in leisure, in leisure activities, further increasing feelings of stress and anxiety. Therefore, the appearance, um, and then finally, the appearance of a poorly designed home can have a significant impact on the mental well-being of those living in it. Poor design, subpar construction materials, and a lack of attention to detail can result in a home that is unattractive and uninviting, which can lead to feelings of shame and embarrassment and can have a negative impact on self-esteem. In conclusion, poorly designed homes that ignore building codes can have a significant psychological impact on those who live in them, from increased stress and anxiety to declining physical and mental health. The consequences of poor home design are far-reaching and long-lasting. Therefore, it is essential that building codes are adhered to in order to ensure the health, safety, and well-being of those who live in the homes that are built. Oh, All right. I like the fact that you came from a less technical angle to a more um, connecting angle, connecting health, psychology, and social together to the importance of living in a good home. Mm. But two things came to my mind. Number one is the earthquake in Turkey, Syria, where over 15,000 people have, have died already, and still counting. And then I heard that um, some part of the world that experienced earthquake, their architects have been able to work with the government to see how they can build buildings that can be that are resistant to earthquake. Yeah, that when it happens, the building can survive it. So yeah, those are the two I things think, that came to I my mind. I think the first thing we should look at is the building code itself. You know, the same way that human beings get, um, th there's a DNA that gives general guidelines that, okay, human beings should have two hands, two legs, two mm -hmm. eyes. This is where the eye should be, this is where the nose. It varies from person to person, but that's the general idea. That's what the building code is. It's generally the experience of professionals over a long period of, of years. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an instance. In the 1960s, there was this low cost high-rise apartment building that they put up. But they found out the crime rate was incredible, you know, in Missouri, in, in, in US, US yeah. you know? 
And after they carried out research, they found out that the design was such that nobody could say, this is my house, this is my space. Mm-hmm. So people could walk in from the street and, co- and commit crime. So murder, rape, it was too much. Mm-hmm. They had to pull down everything, you know? Now, that lesson has now been embedded in the code. Okay. But if you come to Nigeria and they say, okay, don't do this, don't do that, it seems like it doesn't make sense. You know, but there's a reason. So my personal, you know, that my personal issue is these developers. Huh? Everybody has reward somewhere. That's it. Reward <laughs> I'm very serious. True. You see houses, there are some houses I go to and you know, I'm just feeling this rage coming inside mm-hmm. me. How can you That's do this so human thing. beings? <laughs> you have a fence, you know, you have two buildings. If you open your windows, they'll be touching. Yeah, yeah, what kind yeah. of nonsense is that? You no know proper ventilation. So even if the, I mean, there's a risk of fire. Yeah, yeah. fire you know, break. You can break. jump from the mm. If disease breaks out, everybody's going to be, you know, Affected. because there's not, you don't have enough. So, spread. you know. Another issue is the issue of the public Valentine, February 14th. Let me tell you how it's connected to building. Eh? When some people want to invite some other, their better half to their house and they are shy of, oh, my house. There's <laughs> also an angle of a married couple, even mm. okay. if you have your bedroom and you know normal marital activities mm. but you actually you know that you have to what do you mean by normal marital yourself. activities there's yeah. a psychological yeah. impact even on yeah. the well-being yeah. Yeah. exactly yeah. and, and what well, area i want to draw your attention to is this now yeah i know we, we tend no one to, we, don't, we don't intend to blame government but you see i don't think within the context that we are somebody can just stand up and do it exactly oh you can do it now so in fact there was a case of an architect there was a case exactly. of an architect you know, in the UK, that was just the the registered because he did some what we do here over there. Uh, you know, and, you, and that's what he's talking about. Exactly, you can. Them. You just pay someone uh-huh. and I, you carry on. I don't want to be a corruption. No, over there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Over over here. Here. But here, it's yeah, so that's that's not about that that value. So, no, no, no. I think it's not. It's not just about value, though. It means that monitoring. You see, these people don't live up to what they are elected or appointed True. to do. Because yeah, a, another thing I want to draw attention to is that we have association, I don't know if it's architects, we had an association of engineers. Yeah. Or, There's I even an agency this, responsible for that. I think that association, to my own um, awareness, I think is a bit passive, or I don't know if government, because, said it. yeah, mm-hmm. it's a bit passive because you should get to a point where you see buildings or construction ongoing construction and you are able to protest or do something yeah. about it such yeah. that they have to find out does the has it gone through the normal uh Processes, proce- procedures and all of that yeah, and that they can fight these things because if you look at the number of uh, collapsed building we've had in recent time you'll be wondering who gave approval for all of this oh, and again even for me that that is one aspect where the government is failing to implement all the policies and i mean if you go to nigeria if you look at nigeria nigeria has one of the best policies and uh, directives or directions in the book were hardly ever implemented. Mm-hmm. But beyond that, I'm looking at it that the poor construction or design, building design, could also limit your aspiration. Mm-hmm. You know, some people just stay in a home and they can't think beyond a particular yeah. lifestyle yeah. or achievement yeah. until they go to a place and like, yeah. so this thing is possible. Yeah. And that alone Change gives them a different view of life yeah. and they start, you know, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was a very interesting one. How buildings can link and affect our personal life. Kayode Elijah Iposu is next after the break. <laughs>